Hello guys, that's it. Session 9 of the Olympics at the pool in Tokyo and another great, great session from an Irish perspective. Mona was up again after her heroics in the 100 breaststroke. This morning she had the 200 breaststroke. And look, Mona did a fantastic job again. 225-0, an Irish senior record, uh, almost a second off her best leading into this games you can't ask for many more than that from from mona especially considering the amount of emotions and the roller coaster that she's been on over the last few days that makes it so difficult to get on the blocks today and break an irish senior record she even said herself in an in her interview after the race that she was feeling tired so to actually get in and peak perform under those circumstances just really shows the caliber of athlete that mona is and what a bright future she has, not only in the 100, which is her main event, but also I really believe her 200 is going to go from strength to strength uh, in the next couple of years. In terms of the actual race, she was in an unseated heat, but she and she really, really, really attacked it. She led the race from the 50 to 100 to 150, and the Czech girl, Horvka, just got the touch on her in the last couple of meters. In terms of her splits, Mona was sub 110 at the 100, which is the first time she's ever been that fast at 100. Uh, and her middle three or her last 350s were at 36, 37, 38. And now the 200 breaststroke is a really, really, really tacti tactical and technical race. And I think as Mona gets more, more, more and more experience racing the 200, especially under the circumstances of a Europeans or a Worlds or, or an Olympics like she did this morning, she'll really hone down her race tactics. And maybe she'll try and bring those 350s a little bit closer together so that she's finishing the race really, really strong. Um, she has a really powerful stroke. She has fast hands and she kicks into that really good streamline. And it's amazing to see. And I think she has a really bright future in that 200. She moved up from 28th to 20th, which again, just is incredible after when you consider everything that she's gone through over the last couple of days. So from, to come away from your first Olympics with an Olympic final in the 100 breaststroke, a PB and an Irish senior record in the 200 breaststroke, moving up from 28th to 20th, it's just a, been a phenomenal week for Mona. And it also... Her Irish senior record today continues a streak for Irish swimming. That's three Irish senior records in the trot from the uh, Jack McMillan leading off the 200 freestyle and uh, the 800 freestyle with a 200 free Irish senior record, the Daniel Whiffen in the 800 free Irish senior record, and now Mona in the 200 breast with another Irish senior record. So that's three in, three on, three in a row. And that must fill the rest of the team with so much confidence uh, for the rest of the races heading into the meet. In Mona's event, Tatiana Schoenmacher, the silver medalist from the 100 breaststroke, almost broke the world record, which is just fantastic to see because that's a record which has stood since 2013. And in last night's finals, we almost saw another record. This was time it was in the men's 4x2 free relay and it was the British quartet, which were 0 0.03 from a world record, a super suited world record from 2009. So they had a fantastic swim. And also in last night's session, we had uh, Ariana Titmus backed up her 400 win uh, with, by winning the 200 freestyle. She just got the touch over Siobhan Hohe from Hong Kong, which is Hong Kong's first ever swimming medal. So it was great, great swimming all around last night. It was a really exciting final session. And there's going to be a really exciting final session this evening again. We have some brilliant events coming up. We have the men's 200 breaststroke, which personally I can't wait for. And I think the medals could come from anywhere in the pool in that, in, in that event. And you also have the blue ribbon events. You have the men's 100 freestyle final is up. And you also have the women's 100 free semifinal, which heats were very, very fast this morning. So it's going to be an, ex an exciting evening of racing. And I can't wait to watch it.